Welcome back to Kamsden. So today we've got quite a lot to do. We've already harvested our two big fields. Uh, one, one was barley, one was wheat. And that's left us with really quite a lot of straw to get through. So you can see the first field here near the yard on our right. Some weeds are already starting to grow up, which is fine. It doesn't bother us. Once the grain is in, that's the main thing. Now, we do own a round baler, but I figure it's going to take forever to do these two large fields. So, also, it would be too expensive to buy a big square baler. So, what we're going to do is we're going to lease one. So, we'll pull up here and have a quick look at what the dealership has to offer. So, good practice to always check the used vehicle sale first. Just in case we get lucky, but nothing suitable there today. So let's get down to bailing technology. And here we are. So a couple of round balers. Oh, those are suitable. Nope. Yep. Okay, so the class quadrant is probably our best option. It's probably the cheapest. Okay, two and four cent. Cool. Whoa, that's expensive. Okay. Just gonna have to go with it. It is expensive, but we'll have to return it pretty quickly after uh, after we've used it. So let's get down to the dealership. And we're back. We're back. Just jump ahead. We collected the uh, the baler and just about to get back into the field. So let's get set up here. It really is quite a big unit. That's a big tractor and it looks small when pulling this thing. So this should be pretty good. Let's just get fired up and pull that onto the field. And away we go. So 17 kilometers per hour, which is great. Now, we've got to check quickly. This is, I believe it, 240 centimeter baler. It is variable, you can change it, but a maximum, I think I've already set it to the max of 240. Just as good practice, this is something I'm often guilty of, just to check out the bale trailer. I am, I do have my eye on a bale trailer from the Mod Hub. Just gonna make sure it's compatible. So 240 centimeters, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Just then I'll get caught out later in the process. So away we go. I have absolutely no idea how many bales are going to come from this. Overall, I think what we're going to do is we'll probably sell the first load, maybe the first two loads, and then we got to start thinking about saving some for the cows when we do start the cow farm. So I'm going to time lapse some of this. We're nearly there. Okay, so just cleaning up some scraggly bits along the the headland here. Don't think it'll amount to much. Let's check how many bales we've made. So the career statistics you can see here: 42 bales. 42, which is not bad at all. Okay, so let's just poop out these two last two bales. We are done. That didn't take as long as I thought it would. I think this bale, uh, the baler made light work of it. 17 kilometers per hour is able to get around pretty quickly. So we're going to need this again very soon. So we won't put it, won't put it away or return it. Not just yet. 
So it's time to get our hands on the bale trailer that we looked at earlier. So I like the look of this guy. It's not terribly expensive. So let's get some rails on there. I am going to treat myself to auto load. I think this looks good. Now, unlike FS19, I believe these trailers are capable of both round or square bales. You don't have to purchase one or the other. It just depends on the first bale that goes up on the trailer. That's the one that becomes the auto load. But we'll see a bit more about that later. Okay, so let's grab the New Holland and get down there. And we're back with the new trailer. Perfect. I think the New Holland is the best tractor for pulling this because it's going to be quite heavy loads. Yeah, let's pull into uh, let's just pull into a square position and run down to the other farm to grab the tally handler. Here we are. Okay. So I do have auto load on the trailer. Forgive me. I do like my uh, the odd creature comfort. I do like um quite like stacking the bales. But it is an extra little helping hand. So we'll see in a moment when we, what happens when we get this bale up here. Bale doesn't auto load straight from the loader. Uh, I've made a meal of this. So, see, as we drop it onto the bed of the trailer and move away, see it just snaps into position there quite nicely. I'm not the greatest loader in the world. So that makes life quite easy for me. So let's grab the next couple. And what we'll probably do is we'll probably time lapse a lot of the stacking as well. As God knows there are so many bales to get through. So we'll just get this one up maybe. Perfect. Let's crack on and we'll catch up in a little bit for a chat. Okay, so we're nearly there. Oops, we got one sliding. So we're nearly there. First load. I think we'll probably not get a second load, not a full one out of this field. Certainly we'll get nearly a full second load. So I'm just gonna pop this bale on top. See the, the one on top of the front? It doesn't seem to want to snap on. I'm not exactly sure why that is. It is too far away from the trailer all the way up that high, but I'm not sure. I'll find out why exactly one bale isn't snapping on, unlike all the rest. And we're loaded. So, I do know what happened to that bale. That bale was the last one to come out of the chamber, and it wasn't a complete bale. Now, this is unusual because this didn't happen in 19. It seems to only be here in, tw uh, in 22. The bale itself was the same dimensions. Sorry, I've just caught a head here. Accidentally didn't record all the way down. So it's explaining the bale. That last bale was the same dimension, but it wasn't the same number of litres. And that's why the trailer was rejecting it. It's quite unusual. That didn't happen in 19, but 
Just something to watch out for in case anybody else comes across the same issue. Okay, so, moment of truth. I have no idea how much we're going to earn from this. And I've overshot it. Breaks in the T7 might need a looking at. So let's get unloaded here. So I think these are going to sort of iteratively fall to the bottom. If I can remember how to unload them. There they go. Okay, and just over 15,000. I am happy with that. Quite happy with that. Okay, we're back in the field. And we've nearly got the a second load ready to go. So that's the entirety of the first field. Bailed and stacked. And once we get this up, we'll get this off to the bail cell point as well. So this was the troublesome bale that I was talking about earlier. This was the one that wasn't complete. So I'm going to try and see if I can get it up on top. And hopefully it'll hold. It certainly won't snap on, but it won't. No, it won't hold. Or sorry, I'm hoping it will hold. Let's drop it there and see what happens. Ah, there are no ratchet straps on this trailer, I don't believe. No, so that's going to make life slightly more difficult. Let's see if it stays up there. So, it's a long trip to the bail cell point. <laughs> and it's already dancing all over the place. No, that's not going to stay there. All we'll do is, I think we'll just take it off here, rather than losing it somewhere down along the road. Let's just take it down. And we can pop it in the yard here. At some point, it'll be useful for the cows or the sheep or whatever. But it's better off in our possession rather than being stuck in a hedge somewhere. Let's get that down. So I hope somebody watching this will find value in figuring out that this is a problem <laughs> and why. Okay, another full load off to the bail cell point. Okay, here we are. Let's see how much. Oops, overshot it again. Okay, let's see how much we get for this load. It wasn't a full load, so it's over 5,000. I'll take that. That's okay. Uh, that's pretty good. Okay, so that's the first field entirely complete. Um, let's get down to the second field. We've quite a lot of bailing still to do. We'll get all the equipment set up in the second field and we'll get cracking. We'll have a chat down there. And we're away. Okay, so I quickly jumped ahead here. We've got all the, the equipment we need down the second field. You see, we're in the field right beside the cow pasture. It's the cow pasture away to our right here. Now, what's the plan? So the plan is the first load to come off of this field. The first, I think 24 bales is the maximum on that trailer. So the first load, we're going to keep it. We're going to store it away in the yard somewhere here on the right. So two reasons for that. First, we're going to start a cow farm. So we're going to need bedding and we're going to need straw for TMR as well. So that just makes sense. Secondly, the Price of straw actually does fluctuate in the exact same way as seed oops, or grain uh, fluctuates over the course of the year. So it's going to be worth a lot more in January. We don't have a gun, or to, or a gun to our head right now to sell it. So I'm thinking we'll probably store 24 bales here for the cows just to get us through the winter or get us through the season until we harvest again. I think that's probably way more than we need, but should we have some left over, I mean, it's nice to have some in the bank, so to speak, because we will get a lot more from them in January. So that's the plan, that's the strategy. Now, in terms of how much to keep, how much feed we need and so on, in the FS19 menu, there was a, a little prediction number that would tell you, based on 
however many cows you had, you would need X amount of X number of liters of feed to get you through one year. I found that really handy actually, that was really useful to figure out how much you're going to need. So at least you could tell how much you could sell after each harvest. Now I don't see the same option, or I don't see the same little metric on the FS22 menus. Maybe it is there, but I haven't come across it just yet. With that said, if I'm storing 24 bales, I mean 24 bales times 9,000 litres per bale is 216,000 litres in total. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to go, oh my god, and say that's about four times more than we need, which is fine, because if we don't get it used, we're just going to sell it in January for a hefty profit anyway. So that is the plan. So I think what we're going to do is we'll, we'll wrap up this episode shortly, we'll get We'll get the field bailed entirely first, then we'll take out the first load, we'll load it into the barn, and we'll probably cut the episode there. And after that I can race around and collect up the last couple of bales, they'll probably be maybe a half load, and I can get those sold before we start the next episode. So I'll crack on here and we'll just catch up on a little bit. Okay, we're done, we're done, let's just, let's just poop out these the last two bales unload them and perfect uh, we'll get folded up okay we still have less than half a bale just somewhere in the chamber so i'm just gonna have a quick look down here figure out where exactly these bales could go i'm thinking they could go in the barn or they could go into this little space here quite a bit of space here that might go to waste unless we use it or maybe they belong in the barn. It is straw after all, so we should keep it dry. Okay, let's get started here. Let's just get let's just get cracking on stacking these, and we can come back to a decision on where we land those bales in a little bit. Maybe when we get the trailer in there, we'll see how big the stack actually is. So I'll crack on with this and get these loaded up and we'll come back for a chat in a little bit. Okay, we're full, we're full. And I'm just going to make our way down to this yard here. As I say, I'll load up these bales and we'll leave it the episode there. The remaining bales that are out in the field, I'll just get the, those sold off for the next episode. So... We've got a quite a tricky angle to make in here. Uh, I'm not sure if the stack is a little high as it sits on the trailer for the roof of the shed, but ah, we should do okay. I don't think there's a collision on the bales while they're technically in auto load mode. So I might have a little twisting and turning to do here. Okay, so we're in, and I just reversed into the, the very last bay. Just keep them out of the way, as far out of the way as possible, so that we can maximize the space for more vehicles. And... There they go. Just shimmy them back a little bit. And perfect. Okay, I think we'll drop them there. So, that's it. That is the straw harvest done, all in one episode. Next episode, I'll get the remaining bales, as I say, uh, sold off, but the next episode will be starting into the grass harvest and getting the cow farm started. Keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching.